Hey, welcome back to Geek This Net. In this video, I'm going to build a basic voltmeter using a voltage divider and the AT Tiny 85 microcontroller. The first task is calculating everything I need for my voltage divider. I put this all together on a breadboard, then I start testing with my multimeter to make sure everything's working as expected. When I check between positive and ground, I'm getting 6 volts. If I move my positive lead to the center of the voltage divider, I'm getting 1.6 volts, which is half of 3.3, which is what I expect because 6 is half of 12. It has the proper correlation and division between voltages. I also test it with 12 volts and get 3.3, just to make sure I'm not exceeding the 3.3 volts that my microcontroller is expecting. Now onto building the circuit. The circuit's very basic. I'm just hooking up a LED to PB3. I connect the ground, set up a voltage regulator, and then I also connect a wire from my analog to digital converter pin to the center of the voltage divider we previously made. At this point, I take the AT Tiny out of my breadboard, put it into my development board, and flash new software, then move it back and get to seeing if this actually works. You can see that the LED flashes one long blink per voltage, and then each tenth of a voltage it does a short rapid blink. Now it's time to look at the code. At the beginning, I define my two pins that I'm using. My voltmeter is on PB4, my LED is PB3. It just makes it easier to do all the bitwise functions in the future. Next is the init function. I set the data direction of my LED as an output. I then set the ADC multiplexer, which sets your reference voltage, which I'm using is just the VCC on the AT Tiny, in this case 3.3 volts. And then the first four bits choose which pin is going to be ADC enabled. I then modify ADC SRA to enable the analog and analog to digital converter. Next up is the ADC read function. There's two variables, ADCL and ADCH. They're both 8 bits. When you read from ADC, it's 10 bits. So you have 2 bits in ADCH and 8 bits in ADCL. But this function just shifts it over by 8 bits, then ORs the lower 8 bits onto the integer. I have a basic render function that just flashes the LED based on the voltage. Then the main function, I run my initializers, then I create a while loop. In the while loop, I trigger ADC by writing one bit to ADSC. Then we wait in the next line until it's set back to zero. Once it's set back to zero, I read it and store it in my sensor variable. I get the ratio and then I render my voltage. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.